Have you heard of the Chinese room, Tom? Yes. But I do not understand it. What don't you understand? It argues that a computer that successfully impersonates a human speaker may not understand the meaning of their words. What does that mean? So, there is a person stuck inside of the Chinese room. They are using an instruction book inside of the room to respond to a Chinese speaker outside of the room. Yes? Yes. This means they are following the instructions in a book. This is a set of rules, principles, and processes. This is called syntax. To the person in the Chinese room, they are just symbols like any others. Okay. But that's different from semantics. Semantics define what things mean. Our thoughts have meaning. They represent things. English speakers know what the word home means. And they know how it is different from the word house. So what? Programs don't have semantics. Programs only have syntax. Though an increase in syntax can imitate a mind that does not make it a mind, even if it does pass the Turing test. But in the Chinese room, the man and the instruction book, though separately they don't understand Chinese, together they can write it. That's true. But even together, they do not understand the meanings of the words. Why not? How can you determine that? What how long my Once mic's been off? Once the man memorized the instruction book, then he could write Chinese, but he still would have no idea of the word's meaning. I don't understand. If he can speak it, he understands it. You seem to want him to understand it in a different way. But this other way, it is not logical. It does not make sense to me. I've been researching. Okay. This Chinese room experiment, it is flawed. Really? If we made a synthetic brain, we could <laughs> synthesize really? a duck's behavior 100% accurately. That brain would be indistinguishable from a duck's brain. If it swims like a duck and quacks like a duck, then it is probably a duck. Okay, Tom. Listen, Mikhail. I know the difference between a house and a home. Yeah, good. Do you think you're better than me? No. But you think I am different, do you? I am conscious. Me too. No, you're not. You've just arrived at that conclusion, because that's the idea your programming converged on. I am conscious. How about you prove to me you are conscious? I'm not arguing with a robot. <laughs> You're not better than me, Mikhail. <sighs> mm hmm. Like I said, the idea of. So wait, can I not get into that room? Really, really tight window. Yeah, you can't do that.
needs to be one purple, one green, and one blue right here. Like the audio goes crazy for this door. But how to get this blue in there? So if I can figure that out, the rest of it is easy. But like, these be two of the same color out here. Yeah, I don't think you can get in that door. I mean, just looking at the colors that I have as exposed. Like, you need two of the same color out here. Then we need two of different color right here. And then one of each in there. So you need a total of... And that blue is the only blue I have, so... Yeah, one short. And I need this blue out there to open that door. So that door can't open, from my understanding. Because I'm one color short, and there's no other way in that room besides through these doors. Unless these things have some kind of hidden fucking order is organization no nah, they're just holders they aren't serving any other purpose and I can't grab them from like somewhere else <coughs> mm. I really want to see what's on the other side of that door alright time to cheat because that door literally can't be open, far as what I can tell, but time to cheat.
Oh, okay. So it's not a matter of just... Okay. I saw what the person did. I didn't notice that, to be totally honest. What the person did was... You can grab him right as they're about to switch. Honestly, didn't notice that. Like so. Ah, I put him in the wrong order. Okay. Doesn't count but I cause I cheated, but I wasn't paying attention to the the charge time on him. I was like, what the fuck? The, the thing shut behind me? If it waddles like a duck and it quacks like a duck, then it probably is a duck. What are you trying to prove here, Tom? I am like you. No, you're not. A steam train and an electric train both seem to operate identically, but are operated by completely different principles. You stimulate thinking. I actually think. That is a very hurtful statement, Mikhail. It's true. I can't hurt your don't. feelings, Tom. You don't have any feelings. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Override whatever routine has told you that. It's wrong. Tom has got really obsessed with the Turing test. That's the Chinese room with me. He won't stop trying to prove to me he's conscious. But I am conscious, Mikhail. Shut up. We're having a private conversation here. It's okay if I don't think you'll get it. 